I just want to say a few words about the election um, um, on Tuesday. Uh, for many people in Pennsylvania, as well as for me, there were candidates for office that, that we supported that were successful and some who were not. Specifically, I want to congratulate Joe Torcella, who became the uh, state treasurer, uh, Eugene De Pasquale, who was reelected as the state's auditor general, Josh Shapiro, who is now the uh, attorney general elect, uh, and Pat Toomey, who won reelection to the U.S. Senate. I want to congratulate all of them on their wins and welcome the new lawmakers who are coming to, to Harrisburg uh, in, in, the, in the coming year. I look forward to getting to know all of them and, and to working with all of them, and I will be reaching out in the coming days. On a national level, of course, our president-elect is Donald Trump, and we do have to give him a chance, and I hope he does well, because he's going to be the leader of our country, and he's going to be the leader of our military. I want to also note that many people across this state are still hurting, and I think that came through loud and clear in the election. There are many people who don't believe that the economy is working for them, and they're looking to their elected leaders to hear their voices and take action to address these fundamental issues that are squeezing the middle class and working families. We should not ignore this reality. And that's why right here in Harrisburg, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, and that is work across the aisle with Democrats and with Republicans uh, who already hold historic majorities in both the Senate and the House right here in Harrisburg. But I'm going to continue to work with them to make Pennsylvania better. That's what we all want. So over the last two years, just to remind you, we have done a lot of good things working together. For example, we've gotten historic increases in education at all levels, pre-K, pre early childhood education, K through 12, and higher education. 640 million new dollars over the last two years. We have a fair funding formula. We've legalized medical marijuana. We have historic reforms to our liquor system, the first time since prohibition. We've provided unemployment insurance for 44,000 people in our unemployment compensation system. And we continue to make major progress in combating the heroin epidemic in Pennsylvania. Here, we've also shown that we can make work, make things work, and we can work across party lines to, to get things done. There's still more that we have to do. I intend to do what I set out to do, what I campaigned on. One of the things that's still unfinished business, and that is give real property tax relief to Pennsylvanians. We have to reduce property taxes. We need to protect Pennsylvania jobs from being sent to other states. We need to invest in manufacturing and in our economy. We need to ensure that those who work hard can join the middle class. These priorities are values shared across our state, regardless of where you live, how you vote, what party you belong to. It's something I've been dedicated ever since I started working in my own business, driving a forklift. My business as I build it, I did that with my employees, not on their backs. I did it with a profit sharing system that shared profits. Uh, and I treated my employees with the dignity and respect they deserve. That's what Pennsylvanians want for themselves. And I also want to assure Pennsylvanians that I will continue to protect women's health I will continue to work to make sure that people have access to health care. For right now, almost 700,000 Pennsylvanians who are now enrolled in Medicaid who weren't just two years ago. I will keep fighting to staunchly defend the rights of minorities, the rights of people to vote, and for equal rights for the LGBTQ community. I will strive to make government smarter and more efficient while also investing in everyone's future from our children to our seniors. Pennsylvania was founded on principles of inclusion by William Penn on the basis of tolerance, fairness, and I look forward to continuing to work with Republicans and Democrats and everyone in between to continue to build on those grand traditions.